Scotland. Uh, obviously, the, the farther inland this stays, the more weakening it will do if it does. 12 hours to a category four at landfall. It's a lot of water. yourself before anything else happens and before before you need help yourself. So, so you could tell that the water is like rising sure on that his leg, but I had to clip the video. Sorry, guys. And, um, here we are again with Jeff. He's preparing for his live report. Let's just listen in to you can hear Idalia coming in in the background. And this is again, used so it's a category four. Uh, at the moment this is going to be just and east of the, the landfall spinning location and rotation of the hurricane based hurricane on its location landfall, just west uh, of morning. as eric noted the stop florida sign in the means that there's going to be a lot of storm surge good point of reference to look at here as far as what we're talking the about eastern, with the storm surge and uh, i mean western coastline of live, uh, from florida be a lot of flooding we'll listen in for a few minutes, couple because minutes, the rotation is going to push a lot of water up into the coastline of western florida so you could expect a lot of flooding on this one situations when the storm passes do not drive in flooded streets and assume that all down power lines are still hot and live and there's going to be people working to to remedy that and we've got a lot of people staged careful of carbon monoxide poisoning uh, definitely be careful with generators uh, households that are out of power throughout the state of florida but there have been over 100,000 households that have already been restored through hard work uh, all through the night and those restoration efforts are ongoing any place it's safe to do people are there working to get that done uh, as soon as do not drive to do through so water uh, it's to a sufficient level very damaging to your car and it can cause it to stop running also do not drive around uh, electric power lines that are down because the lines may still be live with electricity so they can be very dangerous should that be necessary there will be an immediate effort to restore power to people who lose power. There's 30,000 plus linemen stationed and ready to go to commence restoration efforts for local municipalities. That is a lot of water. Please accept mutual aid. These are folks that can come supplement your efforts. And again, the goal is just to get everybody back A lot of flooding. Online. As an entire as western possible. coastline of, be a lot of debris from this florida is be a need to, uh, to going to have a lot of flooding to be able to do and according because the rotation Florida of the Department hurricane is going to just push a lot of water of heavy equipment over and truck and this area stage for cut and toss operations post storm we anticipate electricity is out in a lot of areas they trains, are turning it on but i feel like electricity and water is just not very safe can cause fires so you want to be careful and maybe even turn off your power or electricity just so then you can prevent maybe a fire from occurring a spark more fuel to water truck just to make oh, up the whole disaster is going to be way worse if you have a fire course of business with things like the port of tampa being closed and so there's a lot of fuel that has been uh, arranged to be here and our goal is to not have uh, any major fuel interruptions in terms of communications there's 500 plus starlink internets ready for deployment to places that need to be. There's already been almost 250 that have been deployed. So as affected areas need that connectivity, Florida Division of Emergency Management is gonna work to provide that. Uh, they also have 3000 generators staged and ready to surge for areas that, that need some power. Now, if you're using a generator in your personal home, Please do not run that generator inside your home. Do not run it inside your garage. It must be run outside your house. It needs to be at least 20 feet away from doors and windows, and you have to point the exhaust away from your home. We do not want to see any fatalities as a result of misuse of generators. So uh, there's a lot of people that are that are on deck. Barricades that are almost now completely covered, that one in the middle of the intersection we saw earlier. And if you remember, we were actually parked way down that street earlier this morning at about 1 a.m. Then we had to move a little bit closer over here to this parking lot. And you saw that just about an hour ago. Now, 
completely covered in water. And if you take a look, it actually went out. And so they might be working on trying to get that back up now too, but we're getting crews out here. We're seeing a lot of electric crews driving back and forth and we're seeing some debris and we'll continue to update you throughout the morning. Back to you guys. All right, that's Chloe Sparks uh, reporting from uh, Tarpon Springs. Yeah, you guys what? coming to get in the, I mean, they, they carried up one Didn't of see it coming, really. I mean, we, I took the dogs for a walk at like yeah, 3, 3.30 3 in the morning. Yeah. Everything was fine, everything was fine. Yeah. Went back in, came, looked outside like an hour later and it was like halfway up the trailer. Oh my God. Terrible. What are you thinking? Is that water's rising? Thinking, oh, what am I going to do? I didn't know my dog could swim so good. <laughs> so sweet. So they were saying that the water rose so fast that in 30 minutes to an hour, it literally rose many feet and pushed them out of their house. That, uh, they were uh, able to get there, rescued and go to storm, safety, which so is very good. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah, at that, all that, that debris. Uh, that stop sign is literally underwater. Nine foot and nine right foot right? seas and right, right now. But they were calling for around 15 or 16 foot, depending on where you are. Boy, I mean, I hate to say it's it, but down. I wouldn't be surprised if it does eclipse that that 12 yeah. foot. Yeah, and that like house is, is completely as as engulfed in water just to, to the right of the stop sign. Uh, but boy, I tell you, some devastation, completely filled with water. With this storm surge, it's really sad to see Hudson in Pasco County. I believe that she is standing by for a live report. Let's listen in. It's much, much worse. We're actually bracing ourselves behind our news van because we're going through such a strong band of wind and rain at this point. So the area I've been showing you, Hudson Beach, all morning long, that is way down there. You can't even see the pavilion that I was us uh, standing under. We had to move because the water started encroaching on the businesses there. Now take a look. You can see right here the road is also flooded. That's water coming through. It's a lot of wind. In the middle of the road. So Rain. That side of the road. If we go ahead, walk right over here, and you can see the people that you see driving right now are deputies with the Pasco County Sheriff's Office. They are moving out of the area because the road is just getting more and more flooded as the water continues to rise. Charles, if you can come with me right over here, what you can see also, you got water on this side of the road as well. Now this is flooding out, but take a look across the way. It's rising on homes in this area as well. The water this is coming out over high bridges. Tide. High tide comes later this afternoon. Over the roadways. This type of flooding that we're seeing in this and area. into businesses now, and way, buildings and homes. You can see even the business right here, the water is encroaching on this one. The owner that we talked to at Hudson Beach, we had to call him, wake him up and tell him, hey, we had to leave. We just want you to know what condition is that near your business? So we are monitoring things out here. As far as being in touch with Pasco Emergency Management, we have talked to them. They say there are nearly 3,000 power outages. We heard a transformer blow while we were standing out here. We're gonna check to update you on that. There's also been a water rescue reported, so we're gonna continue and go on and check on that as well. But for now, we're gonna send it back to you. For a moment, because we get a wider picture here. Right. I'm sure that there are folks in our comment section watching from Alabama and saying, Thank goodness it's not us this time around because Southern there it is, Hurricane Ida. By hurricanes and tropical storms, um, you can see the spin. We've had a lot of folks, Eric, joining us from the Jacksonville area, and how it could push Florida. a lot of water to, onto uh, the western about Gainesville and the University of coastline Florida. of Florida. Young students there. Uh, so this is the, like this is the dangerous flood water that you don't want to get caught in a car um but yeah i mean I, I flooding saw flooding flooding Lauderdale when i was there that were up to their the middle of their windows you know what i'm saying and anytime water gets in your car i tell you jb when i went I, I had to go back to fort lauderdale and get all my stuff out of the car right and the mildew smell the bold smell even even shortly after the water just being and the water was only it wasn't even a foot deep in the car. Water getting into your floorboards, it, it, it's done. It's just, you'll never get the smell out, you'll never get the mold out, and, and the car's totaled. So. These streets, trying to find anyone that needs to make it out of their homes. That's what we've been doing as well. We're on an wow. ATV vehicle. With that literally looks like a river, but you could tell by the signs, it's a street completely full of water. 
Wow. And there was no flooding. All of a sudden, the water starts rising. Within 30 minutes, the road, Old Dixie Highway that leads up to US 19, was underwater. So this is a very, very oh my gosh, so much water. She's on a road. You can see the lines. You can see just even as we get further and further away from these crews, how much water is all over this road. This is the main drag that leads to Hudson Beach. Wow. So US 19 to Hudson Beach. Completely full of water. This is how you get there. No normal vehicles are able to get through this. We've seen many that have tried. They've been drowned out. In fact, we'll come by one in just a second. It's a Jeep. People have been trying to walk out of these waters. It's up to their waist. Cars have been trying to drive out. They've gotten stuck. It creates a really dangerous situation for first responders who have been out and making rescues all morning long in this. We have seen people rescued. We have seen pets rescued. I've actually witnessed someone rescued as we were riding on this ATV. So there are rescues being made, but they're asking everyone, don't come out and assess the damage. Just try and stay put. You will have a chance to look at the damage and see how your property fared. You just have to wait it out until some of this water recedes and gets out of the area. There we go, here it is. This is the Jeep. This is what we're seeing all over the place. People tried to drive out of these floodwaters. Stop. It's just not possible because Stuck they are so car. high. You're gonna have to wait till they receive That's the why you damage. don't drive we through water, guys. That car is done for. But just full, you want to put it safe. You don't want to put your life at risk, and you don't want to put first responders' lives at risk either. So we're gonna stay out here, keep riding around, getting a closer look at some of this damage to the homes, boats, cars in the area, and then we'll bring it to you and bring you all those visuals. Gonna send it back to you in the meantime. Well, I obviously wasn't very happy. <laughs> um, I actually did stay here last night, um, and I got up at about three. I knew high tide was gonna be about three, three thirty and I slowly watched the water get closer and closer. By about four, water was starting to come in the house. Um, and about 4.30, about 75% of the house. stressful. <laughs> I, uh, moved down the uh, these videos are... And you offered to take us inside and show us what you're dealing with. So let's take a look at what you're dealing with inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can see here where the water line was about here. So it's, it's receded. It's probably the water seen. came up quick. So far, which is great. Uh, obviously, we're a little concerned about what's going to happen later this afternoon, but um, we'll see what happens with that. It receded fast. The line in here, like, the bottom of the cabinets. Uh, just hours walls, later, it went down. The place was full of about probably eight inches of water. Wow. So, you've never seen anything like this. You said you've lived here since water, May. Water, water, water. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, haven't seen anything like this before. Uh, last year during Ian, uh, we had access. Look at the water line on the wall. We came here, there wasn't a drop of water. The yard. The wall really on the broken. left is um, easiest so to see. Obviously, much worse. Than uh, water, water line. So, what's your initial reaction? The water I mean, came I, up pretty high. You have water in your kitchen. You have water throughout your house. Couple um, feet. What do you do next? Have you called your insurance agent? What's next? I haven't yet. No, we're uh, we're expecting tide to come back up. Uh, Definitely could have been worse. So Newly renovated. Well, Look at the drywall behind him. Uh, really unfortunate part mm -hmm. is uh, we're about 95% done with uh, whole house renovation. All right? his repairs just so, gone. Uh, and so essentially that's all going to have to be redone. You know, kitchen has to be gutted, bathroom gutted. Wow. So pretty much starting back over from where we were at uh, back in you know April 9th. So it's, it's unfortunate. And I know you were concerned starting about over. flooding here, but did you expect this much water in your house? Absolutely not. No, you know, I, I was starting to get real nervous once the water starts, you know, getting closer. And then when it was over the door, I'm like, yeah, you know, there's nothing we can do. Just head out for higher ground and, and you know, just see what happens. Wow. Have you talked to any of your neighbors about what they're doing? I have, yeah. Uh, a couple other neighbors have. Definitely try to avoid a house in a flood zone. He may not be even be in a flood zone. Uh, FEMA designation for flood Stacey, Josh, we're on the MSD website roam around uh, the because River floods can happen the most anywhere but definitely avoid flood zones if you can it's one of the most common disaster impacts that you can have he's here in this person's backyard this is new in the he did a really minutes. good job uh, of, hour, you know, fair, really being aware of, of high tide, low tide time frames, but being awake and ready and left his house very smartly 
and it seemed like he very much did everything uh, very you know, informed and strategically so the homeowner really did a good job I, I think he seemed to be doing some good things to get to safety Wind and rain, calm for now. Conditions definitely deteriorating this uh, evening time. Apart. Stoppy, forky. If you're just joining us and missed our coverage <laughs> earlier, there was a stop sign uh, that was um, getting lower and lower and lower and, and uh, feeling the pressure of that. Uh, Got some rain sun, bands and some severe it, weather. It was, and here's here's where we're gonna leave it with Stoppy, okay? It was nicknamed Stoppy by tornadoes. Our we had some section. fires at some homes. Stop sign in Cedar Key, Florida. And here's where we're gonna leave it with Stoppy. We don't have a picture of Stoppy, even though there are memes on Twitter. You can also uh, get some hail during <laughs> these storms. KJB, but look, here's the thing. May need a little bit cooler Stoppy temperatures down, for that, though. But never out. Yeah. Maybe right. at the end you, of you the season. Definitely it, fell. It, it Stoppy but... wasn't down. It was. It, it was leading. It was leading, but it, but it, but it wasn't all the way down. It, it's kind of like that. You know, you're doing the arm wrestle, and and. You, it's leaning, you're gonna lose, but no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, you come back. So, and, and I think the worst, uh, the worst for Stoppy is probably over as the winds have really calmed down, uh, even though the high tide's still a little bit. Did you like that reference? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the, that the stop sign, it was it, done it, for. The they were saying shorter. the water is gonna rise uh, many more great. feet. It um, is done for. Yeah, so, yeah. Team Brittany. It says no, it wouldn't 